Hey you guys and welcome to my Finish It A Thon wrap up as well as my July TBR. So <laughs> I did really well at the Finish It A Thon. Yes I did. I read a whole 15 pages of How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff and, and that was it. Yep. I don't like to say that I failed because <laughs> maybe that's too strong of a word. I like to think that maybe I just fell short of like you know completing completing my goal sounds a whole much lot better wow that sentence <laughs> anyway I did I think I did better than Twilight Month where I only read 12 pages I mean but at least then I was able to substitute it which is showing you guys basically my Twilight clothing um, collection can't substitute anything now <laughs> that's it <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to finish I mean I'm gonna try to continue the theme out through the month and we'll see how that works uh, but I do have some books for you guys on my TV uh, that I wish to read. Mainly their readathons, although I'm not sure um, if I'm going to be getting to some of them. Well, I'm going to try to get to all of them, but you guys, you'll know. Anyway, uh, the first one is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. This one is not a reading along, but a lot of you guys asked me to review this, so I'm hoping to read it this month and read it, review it, write a review for it, and maybe do a video review while I'm at it, and I don't know why. I'm doing this but it looks angry then the next thing I'm, I'm supposed to be starting by Monday so I should already have started this is the program by Suzanne Young ah, and this uh, takes place in a world where you can't get sad or depressed or anything because if you do they'll think there's something wrong with you and take you to get like reprogrammed or something and Christina from the princess coming where just raves about this anyway I'm supposed to be reading this with Alyssa from AC reads so we'll see and Ashley from Ashley's got book assignment if she happened to get the book but we'll see um, next book I'm supposed to be reading with Kat from Kat Bella I think she still has her channel up I'm not sure I'll link it down below if she does and it is not a job to drink by Mindy McGinnis and this is a standalone novel although there is a companion novel out now so we'll see about this and it actually it's signed it's signed right there won it from epic reads and there's also like a signed bookmark I believe well it's a bookmark but it's not it's not signed but anyway it takes place in this world where water is scarce and this girl is defending a small pond so I look forward to this and then I'm supposed to be reading with Sky from Bookie Pie but I wasn't sure because I couldn't get a hold of her on Twitter and her Twitter's not there and you know so I'm not I'm gonna still try to read it this month but if I get distracted by all my other readathons then probably not but A Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor Lainey Taylor. Now I actually have the second book now. Yay if you guys haven't seen that book haul I'll link it down below but um, I'm not sure what this is about even though I read the first 24 pages before and put it down. I have a guess but I don't want to ruin anything until I have like a whole idea that way I can say like a synopsis without like ruining it for you guys but you know I look forward. A lot of people said that it was good and I can't wait to read it and try and marathon it because I still have to get the third book but then I get like you know justified by the third book and then last but not least I'm supposed to be reading those to Alan from Alan Janae and Sky from Bookie Pie and it is more than this by Patrick Ness and I love Patrick and Ness I have read The Knife of Never Letting Go and the sequel but I still haven't read the last book only because I can't let it go and I actually met him and this is actually a signed copy right here as a whole whole bunch of awesomeness um so I'm hoping to get to this as well this follows a boy named Seth who drowns and then he wakes up alone somewhere in what looks like his childhood neighborhood so that is all that I have to show you guys for now well actually I'm supposed to be reading a book on my Kindle but I hardly ever show you guys but this one is Take by Ellen Frank Ella Frank or something like that and it's the second book and um the series that she has going on I think it's going to be a trilogy but I'm really really excited and I may have already started it by reading 23% into it when I was supposed to be reading of mice and men don't don't judge me it, it, it just it just came in right and I forgot it was coming out this month like I knew it was coming out this month but I didn't really think about the fact that it would come out during the hashtag year thought <laughs> week and so I was just like let me just just read a little bit let me just just a little bit and so I just read just, just, just a little bit but uh yay for my TV which is smaller than usual even though I'm gonna try to 
finish it a thon thing still and we'll see how that works so you can add those other 18 books onto that list so i will see you guys later you guys let me know what you guys plan on reading this month uh have you guys read any of these books before and whether or not you like them or you hated them i would love to know and i will see you guys later bye